Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up your transport controls with the MIDI controller in Logic Pro 9. Uh, basically, what this allows us to do is it allows us to take these uh, transport controls down here uh, and uh, map them to a MIDI controller so we can press the corresponding button on our MIDI controller rather than having to press the buttons down there. Now, there's actually pretty decent key commands for almost all of those, actually for all of those transport con controls. So um, you don't necessarily have to have this, but it's cool to kind of uh, integrate your MIDI controller as a, as a, as a console, as a control surface. So uh, my particular MIDI controller is an older one. It's got big punch buttons on it, uh, but I have record, stop, play, forward, backward, and back to beginning. My back to beginning buttons and back buttons don't work. I think the button themselves, the buttons themselves are actually broke, but I'll show you the other four. And I'll show you how to uh, get those uh, set up on your controller as well, the ones that are broken on mine. Um, so normally when you set up your controller assignments, you have to press Command K. Um, for transport controls, we're going to press Option K. And what Option K does is it brings up your key commands. Uh, dialog and it's just a list of all the key commands in logic and you can customize them and basically what we're going to do is we're going to associate a MIDI button with one of our key commands um, so let's go ahead and learn play I'll just type in play up in the upper right corner and here's play it shows up in the list all you do is you hit learn new assignment and then press play on your MIDI controller the play button and it learns that assignment you can see in the background the session is running. I'm going to manually press stop because I don't. if I press another button it'll try to learn that one too. You can also just hit learn new assignment again and it turns that off. Uh, let's learn stop. So I'll just type in stop. Hit enter. There's stop. Learn new assignment. And then hit my stop button. Now the stop button will also send your session back to the beginning if you press it twice. Or if your session's not playing and you press it once like it was there, it'll actually go back to the beginning. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the next one I want to learn is record. So I'll type in record. It shows up there. Learn new assignment. Hit my record button. Sure enough, it starts recording. Hit the stop button. Uh, and then the next one is forward. And you have uh, forward and fast forward. Forward just jumps ahead by one measure at a time. Fast forward jumps ahead by eight measures at a time. So I'm going to do regular forward, learn new assignment, and hit forward, and it learns it. We can also do backward. Actually, I think it's reverse. Yeah, there's reverse. Uh, nope, that's reverse in the sample edit window. Maybe it is backward. Um, oh, you know, it's rewind. Let's try to rewind. There we go. So I click on rewind. Learn new assignment. Let's see if it works. Hey, it worked. Yeah, I was afraid that wasn't going to work. Uh, and then the last one, why not, since we're on a roll, let's try back to beginning. Just type in beginning. I think it's called go to beginning. Um, I found that uh, stop and go to beginning works better for me than go to beginning, but go ahead and try them both and see which one works with your controller better. I'm not sure why go to beginning doesn't work but for me, but let's try stop and go to beginning. And then let's try that out. Now, yeah, so that one's definitely broke. Let's try it with uh, go to beginning. Learn new assignment. Yeah, see, my so my back to beginning button doesn't work at all. All right, so now that we've learned those controls, let's try them all out. I've got forward, jumps ahead. Backward is not working now. Like I said before, it was broke. So even though it learned the assignment, it's not working now. Play works fine. Stop works fine. If I press stop again, goes back to beginning. And the record button works as well. The other thing I want to, uh, just to note is if you, go, if you press Command K and go back to your controller assignments, all of those buttons you just learned will show up in this list. Um, so they are, you can learn them in here, but it's more complicated to learn them in here as opposed to doing the option K route. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.